from Arizona's family, Arizona Attorney General's office opens investigation into Governor Hobbs. And that's not really saying much because the attorney general in Arizona deserves an investigation into her malfeasance, right? I mean, it's like this, the same thing with the Hunter Biden thing. Look, there's no two-tier justice system. We have, you know, employed a corrupt Democrat to look into another corrupt Democrat. And guess what? They're probably not going to find anything. And if you go around Arizona or more specifically the Phoenix metro area, I believe Maricopa County, you will realize that Governor Katie Hobbs was completely installed. There is zero enthusiasm for her. And she had the nerve to say, I'm not going to debate Carrie Lake because she is an election denier and the people are going to make their decision whether we talk or not. You know, not only is Carrie Lake, has she centered her entire platform around this election denialism, um, I didn't want to give her a bigger stage to do that. But additionally, she has shown that she's not interested in having any kind of substantive conversation. Um, she's only interested in creating a spectacle. But and I didn't you, want to be. If you were a... in the same space with her, wouldn't you be? Wouldn't it be easier to knock it down in front of everyone, in front of the most people? Because you're not stopping her from spreading yeah. whatever you believe that you she know, is I... spreading by not debating her. She can go on television. She can talk about it. She can go in front of the the people of Arizona every single day and talk about it. But you're not confronting her on it. It seems like it would be an easy fix if you stood up on a debate stage and, and confronted her about these issues. Look, we're six days out from the election and our campaign strategy is our campaign strategy. So we're moving forward. I'm continuing to make my case to the voters of Arizona, uh, whether or not uh, we debated in this race is not going to decide this election. So, um, you know, I just, we made the decision, didn't want to be a part of her spectacle. And she's not, uh, she, she won't answer these tough questions um, to, uh, to real reporters. And obviously she didn't want to do that. She didn't want to debate. She didn't want to discuss her platforms because of course she knows the machine is going to work for her. But more, more importantly, all of your ideas, your quote unquote ideas, your talking points that have been handed to you from up on high are incredibly unpopular. But my name's Eric. This channel is called Report and Opine. Please like, comment, share, subscribe, hit the notification bell. I'm absolutely begging you. I'm begging you, please. Come on, please. It would help me a lot and it would cost you nothing. If you wanted to help me even more and spend a little bit of money, you would buy my book, New York City 2020. Gotham Unglued on Amazon.com. That link will be in the description. Reports say local group home Sunshine Residential Homes gave around $400,000 to the governor and state Democratic Party, including $100,000 to the governor's inaugural fund in 2022. Later, DCS awarded Sunshine Home a nearly 60% daily rate increase. The report also... And look, this is absolutely corrupt. I mean, these people are so despicable. But in a weird way, this these are the scams of yesteryear. A little bit of pay to play, you know, right? A little bit of money laundering, a little bit of tax embezzlement. But that is, I mean, that's that's child's play now, right? Now we're going to steal a billion dollars. Now we're going to, we can't come up with $24 billion or one. I mean, I thought one billion or almost one billion in New York. Shout out to Charlene McRae, former Mayor Bill de Blasio's ex-wife, who looks like Flavor Flav. But I thought it was a lot of money, $850 million. But then out in California, Gavin Newsom says, hold my beer, right? We can't find $24 billion, but it's probably because of the rain bombs. Uh, what we didn't anticipate is these rain bombs in December, January, February, and March, uh, these atmospheric rivers. But that aside, as terrible as this is, where we are now kind of makes you long for these sort of scams, even though this regime puppet cog in the machine was completely installed and it was crystal clear from the start, right? I mean, Arizona is totally off base. There's just no way. There's no enthusiasm for this lady. You could drive around Maricopa County, the Phoenix metro area for hours and not see one piece of Katie Hobbs for governor merchandise, no stickers, no hats, no t-shirts, none of that, but Carrie Lake stuff all over the place, FJB, Donald Trump, it's all over the place, but they want you to believe that for some reason, Katie Hobbs, the one fair and square. So claims other child care provider. And I'm sorry, but for the record, 
She was so awful that even Don Lemon, before he was fired from CNN, decided that he was going to call her out. Why not debate your opponent? If you believe your opponent is, you know, has issues in the spreading conspiracy theories uh, about a stolen election and so mm -hmm. on, and it's not being truthful with the, the people of Arizona, why then not get on the debate stage and, and debate her? And it was so blatantly obvious. I'm not exactly sure how it didn't make much wider news, but whatever. Providers were denied increases. Last month, we reported the Department of Child Safety denied contracts of 16 group home providers, which will force approximately 200 kids to find new homes. Uprooting them all of abrupt and moving them to other places is going to cause either that trauma to come back or create new trauma. This provider did not want to be identified as they appeal their denied contract but say they were floored when they learned of the allegations between Governor Hobbs and Sunshine Residential Homes because of DCS's public stance of policing as few children as possible. Wait, oh, were you surprised? Were you surprised when you learned about the possible corruption that Katie Hobbs was involved in? In group home settings. It goes against everything that the department is saying. Following the report, Republican State Senator T.J. Shope asked Attorney General Chris Mays and County Attorney Rachel Mitchell to investigate these allegations. They're going to go ahead and take a look at this and determine whether or not there is... Okay, I don't know this guy from a ham sandwich. Maybe he's all right. But do you really think for one split second, any modicum of time that Chris Mays, who created crimes to lob at some Donald Trump supporters four years down the road, is going to throw the book at cartel Katie Hobbs? A there, there, aside from the uh, le legislative work uh, that would go on in the health committee, looking into the contracts, making sure that state law uh, actually uh, is uh, being adhered to. Both offices responded they would be opening an investigation. But today, May sent a letter to the county attorney essentially saying the AG's office will be taking the lead in this investigation. The county attorney's office tells us tonight they are reviewing the AG's letter. Providers like L House, who were denied contracts, say the process needs to be fixed. I do want the truth, and I think all, I can, many of the other providers want that too, but we do need a better system. There's no way they're going to even get remotely close to the truth. And this, like I said, is an old school pay to play scam, which you wish were, were, were the worst of it, but it's obviously not. Here from Pinko Commie Rag AZ Central, they say Governor Katie Hobbs illegally worked around Arizona Senate's GOP nomination blockade judge rules. So, I don't even really know what this means. It's completely diluted, but the commies at AZ Central are being forced to report on another piece of Katie Hobbs's corruption, I suppose. So she illegally worked around the Senate's nomination blockade, right? And that's what, we sh that's what she was installed for, is to completely block any, any level of sanity usher in communism, usher in chaos, and completely leave the border wide open, which is also very strange because I think some Republicans in the Arizona Senate or Congress or whatever decided that they were going to basically, in not so many words, close the border. And she said no. So wouldn't it then become her fault and the fault of the Democratic Party? Because when the national, the national Republicans decided that they were going to no. when the National Democrats decided that they were going to offer up a bill in order to stop the flow of illegals at the border. But the right wing didn't want to sign on to it. Bo Jiden was ready, willing and able and the media, of course, to call it the fault of the Republicans. Oh, there's 20 million illegals flooding in because the Republicans didn't sign a bill from last Thursday. None of it makes any sense. But when she does it right, it's always different when they do it. Easy. We know that by now. And once again, from AZ Central, this is Chris Mays. So this is the woman who is being tasked with investigating one piece of cartel Katie Hobbs's corruption. They say, Attorney General 
Chris Mays said on Wednesday that fake electors who falsely certified Donald Trump as winning the 2020 Arizona presidential election were indicted. But this post is from like two weeks ago when she decided that it was illegal to do all of the, all the fake elected. That doesn't even mean anything. People don't even know what the crimes he's he's indicted or, or convicted of in New York. They don't even know what it means. They just throw all of this stuff at the wall, kind of like with the CDC declaring that you don't have to pay rent or whatever, or you don't have to repay your college loans. None of it's going to go through, but it's going to buy them a little bit of time to further usher in chaos and complete communism. But the point is, is this lady, do you think this lady is going to be fair and unbalanced when she looks into Governor Cartel Katie Hobbs? After the general election on November 3rd, 2020, the defendants and other unindicted co-conspirators raised false claims of widespread voter fraud in Arizona to pressure elections officials. And that's always the weasel word, widespread. What's well, not widespread, right? Because you can only name a couple situations or a couple incidents of this. So it's not widespread. It's not enough. It's like when that guy fell asleep in his car with a bunch of mail-in ballots outside of a 7-Eleven with weapons and pills during the recall election when scumbag bang your wife governor gavin newsom was going up against the black face of white supremacy larry elder well yeah 300 mail-in ballots in a car that's not widespread yeah mike and jared many wondering tonight so was it a voter fraud scheme or something else investigators are now trying to determine why it is that more than 300 recall ballots were found inside a man's car at this 7-eleven in torrance more than 300 mail-in ballots for the governor's recall race were found inside a car parked at this torn 7-Eleven with a man sleeping inside of it. But how many cars were not pulled over? How many guys weren't slumped out, OD'd in their car, right? So that's what they're always going to do. But my point here, of course, is this lady who wants to take down Orange Man four years later in the fake elector scheme is going to look into cartel Katie Hobbs. Give me a break to change the outcome of a transparent, free, and fair democratic election. Oh, well, there's not enough widespread fraud and we're going to have a, a free and fair democratic election. Wh who's buying this? Ser I mean, seriously, right? The, I guess there's a couple people who actually read AZ Central, right? AZ Central, the Miami New Times, the SF Gate, they're these weirdo, commie, pinko, rag publications that just spew complete nonsense. And you can see in the very top comment, hey lady, Carrie Lake also won. Those efforts ultimately failed when officials stood firm, followed their statutory duties, and officially certified Arizona's election on November 30th, 2020. The defendant Republican presidential electors, allegedly plotting with additional defendants, then voted. Yeah, okay, whatever, lady, we get it. You're reading exactly from the script that they gave you, and it could not be any more inauthentic. It's completely fake. But don't worry, this lady is going to look into the corruption of Katie Hobbs. And here she is, once again, Amazon sued by Arizona Attorney General Chris Mays for alleged deceptive business practices, inflated prices. It's the exact same thing as Big Shame James, Tish James out in New York, who decided after she, you know, oh, well, the, the fraud, I don't even remember what she sued Donald Trump for now. We don't remember anything else outside of this stupid hush money trial that Trump is convicted on 34 counts as if they didn't throw everything else at the wall, right? But then she decided, Tish James, that is, that she was going to sue a meat packing plant or something because even though they have been on record as being like green and sustainable you can go to their twitter and see how i mean weird they kind of capitulate to the mob but that that just wasn't enough so she decided she was going to sue them and then these deceptive business practices and inflated prices that's all nonsense same thing in california right oh the oil companies should be made responsible for the price of gas what no that's you there's weirdo climate restrictions and taxes all over the place but somehow you're going to blame it on the oil companies but don't worry in california they're also going to be mad at tesla because even though we told you that you should be driving an electric car we actually don't have you know the power grid's not really set up so we can't do that but doesn't even matter because the electric grid, the electric cars are also 
a contributor to this weirdo sun monster shenanigans nonsense. But look, the point is, these weirdo corrupt Democrats are going to destroy, they are at least attempting to destroy absolutely everything and then replace it with, I guess, their government controlled entities. We already see that in San Francisco where they have a free market for the poor people. And once again, from AZ Central, Arizona GOP report calls for Attorney General Chris Mays to be impeached. She calls it a sham. So finally, somebody in the Republican Party in Arizona says this woman is terrible and she should be impeached. But she says, no, I'm just playing by the rules. I'm part of the machine and your little investigation or whatever you claim I'm doing, that's completely fraudulent. A group of Arizona House Republicans has recommended Attorney General Chris Mays be impeached for what it describes as abusing her authority, attacking political opponents, and selectively enforcing state laws. That's quite literally every single thing that the Democrats do. This woman is tasked with investigating cartel Katie Hobbs, and cartel Katie Hobbs was installed so that all of them could get away with doing everything this publication just listed.